Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Deeper in the Word podcast. This is a daily scripture and commentary broadcast developed for Emmanuel Baptist Church in San Jose, California, and shared with everyone that wishes to join us in our study of God's Word. Today is Friday, June 28th. The weekly lesson is Praying for Our Nation. The scripture we'll be referencing is 2 Chronicles 7, 1 through 3, and 12 through 20. When Solomon finished praying, the fire descended from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices, and the glory of the Lord filled the temple. The priests were not able to enter the Lord's temple because the glory of the Lord filled the temple of the Lord. All of the Israelites were watching when the fire descended and the glory of the Lord came on the temple. They bowed down on the pavement with their faces to the ground. They worshiped and praised the Lord, for he is good, for his faithful love endures forever." Then the Lord appeared to Solomon at night and said to him, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a temple of sacrifice. If I shut the sky so there is no rain, or if I command the grasshopper to consume the land, or if I send pestilence on my people, and my people who bear my name humble themselves, pray and seek my face, and turn from their evil ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. My eyes will now be open and my ears attentive to prayer from this place. And I have now chosen and consecrated this temple so that my name may be there forever. My eyes and my heart will be there at all times. As for you, if you walk before me as your father David walked, doing everything I have commanded you, and if you keep my statutes and ordinances, I will establish your royal throne as I promised your father David. You will never fail to have a man ruling in Israel. However, if you turn away and abandon my statutes and my commands that I have set before you, And if you go and serve other gods and bow in worship to them, then I will uproot Israel from the soil that I gave them, and this temple that I have sanctified for my name I will banish from my presence. I will make it an object of scorn and ridicule among all the peoples. In four days, we will pause from our normal routines to celebrate the birth of our nation for the 248th time. The day will be filled with parades, parties, picnics. The night sky will be illuminated with fantastic fireworks displays. Band concerts will be held. Songs will be sung. And just maybe, somewhere, a group of people will pause to pray, thanking God for the blessing of living in such a wonderful country. They will acknowledge that the nation is not perfect, for its citizens are not perfect. They will pray God's blessing of wisdom for civic leaders at all levels, safety for military personnel around the nation and the world who defend our freedom, and for peace and harmony among its citizens. And they may pray for a revival, a spiritual awakening to fall over the land from shore to shore. All that is right and good for God will bless a people who humbly look to him. And if no one else does, let it begin in us. If it doesn't start in us who believe, how can it take place in those who do not? This weekend, ask yourselves these questions to help you dig even deeper. What are you you're doing personally and as a group to encourage those around you to turn to God in humble prayer and to seek his presence? And conclude your personal Bible study or your group gathering with a prayer for the nation. God, bless America, not because we deserve it, but because we need it. Amen. Until next week, saints. And remember, every day is Sunday.